It's now August, and for hunters across the country, this is a very special month indeed, as August the 1st is the first day of fallow and red deer season in England and Wales. This is a particularly special month for Steve, as he thoroughly enjoys his deer stalking, despite the glum look on his face, and venison always sells well in his family's butcher shop. He's heading out today with a Ruger M77 all weather in 3006 Springfield, and a box of his favourite 185 grain Lapua Megas. I've decided to accompany him today, but I'll mainly be watching from the sidelines. This is Steve's day. We've been working on this ground quite a lot this summer. Um, we've seen a lot of red stags, prickets, knocking about around here, even though there's a lot of sheep activity. We've been doing quite a bit of foxing early on when it was lambing season, and they've been knocking about and not too deterred all the time. So hopefully tonight we're going to get lucky and try and get a young red stag down. It's a very important night for us for two reasons. Firstly, I want to sell the venison in my shop. There's a hell of a lot of demand for it at the minute. And secondly, we really do enjoy the sport. Steve has been hunting this ground for years and knows every ridge and contour like the back of his hand. He's very confident that despite the amount of sheep, there's more than a few deer in these parts. He can almost smell them. As the sun begins to set, Steve knows that this is the time of day that deer like to appear, and he's keeping his eyes peeled. Steve assures me there is one spot in particular that the deer like, so we're heading in that direction. We've barely walked a few yards when Steve spots some young antlers, still in velvet, on the crest of the hill. They've come over the rise here. I don't think they saw us, they were playing, running about. Um, we're going to go further down the bank now and look up the valley and see if we can see them. There is no wind at all, it's really, really still. So it's going to be quite a tricky stroke to get in to get a shot. But um, we'll give it a go and give it a best shot. With the deer having just dropped over the ridge of the hill, it's a tricky spot to stalk into. Being a little um, economy sized, Steve isn't the most inconspicuous of men. If he just bumbles over the top of the hill, the deer will easily spot him. If he wants to get up close and personal, he's going to have to get down low. As Steve crawls closer and closer, the deer are happily playing in the bushes besides the field. There's a few prickets and a hind grazing happily, so Steve must not spook even one of them, or else they'll all head for the safety of the forest. He makes a superb shot off his knee, and the others make a run for cover. We wait for them to disappear into the wood before moving forward to collect our prize. Okay, I had to take the shot pretty quick in the end. Um, we stalked into it and we got pretty close. About 50, 50 metres, probably a little bit, probably a little bit closer. Um, I've taken the shot, which was a bit quicker than I thought, but we've got the brick in. He's let there, he's been motionless now. Tricky stalk in the end, because of the long grass. Couldn't really, we had to get um, a bit closer than we thought. Um, took him with a kneeling shot, which I saw. Just hit him a bit high in the shoulder there, but it's um, definitely done the job. He wasn't going anywhere, he never flinched really. His antlers are still in velvet, um, which means that the antler's still alive. Um, the velvet is a blood supply which feeds the antler, which makes them grow. Um, as the season goes on, they, um, the velvet dies off and the antler dies and they scrape it off on the, on the trees and everything else, which um, makes the antler how you normally see antlers when you see them on the pub walls or whatever. Um, but like you see, they're still soft, they're still, they're still movable. It's because they're still growing, but he's just, um, he's just a young boy. Um, probably, because he's still with the hinds, was probably one of last year's calves. So he's, um, he was right for the taking and I'm looking forward to getting him dressed out now and having, having a look what he liked. With that beautiful little pricket in the bag, I head to get the truck so we can get it back to the slaughterhouse where the real work begins. Okay. 
To find out more about the Ruger M77 or weather, visit vikingarms.com. Keep an eye out for upcoming episodes of Team Wild TV to follow the process of turning a wild deer into quality venison as Steve demonstrates how to skin, dress and butcher your own game.